Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So we are now on to 2.17am and this is, we're getting on to season two, episode five. So we've got this one and one more left after this. I am ready to finish this shit and ready to either be very happy or very sad or very excited. I don't know what emotions I'm going to feel, um, but I'm feeling a lot of them right now. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just get into it so that I can get this over and done with and let's see how this goes. <laughs> The way she walks is pissing me off. I swear. As soon as she mentions Crowley, he's gonna be down. Right, so, uh, how many? Ten thousand demons. Good fuck. Uh, sorry, I thought you said ten thousand. I did. Are you actually going through with this? Indeed I am. Can I watch? Oh, it's very important. I'll need musicians at the Whitler Street Traders and Shopkeepers Association monthly meeting this evening. I trust we'll see you there with your harpsichord. Uh, no, thank you. I went to one meeting ten years ago. They were wittering on about the Christmas lights and passed a resolution condemning the improper use of apostrophes on signs in windows. You leave me with no alternative. I have at the back of my bookshop a 1965 Doctor Who annual. There was no 1965 Doctor Who annual. The first one was cover dated 1966, published September 1965. The 1965 annual was indeed never printed due to problems at the BBC. <laughs> the only known I like to think that they didn't tell David Tennant about this. You'll let me look at it. You're at the meeting. They didn't give him the Perhaps script for this. Musician, I'll let you have it. I'm doing a hundred. Oh. He's just dropped to seventy. Mm. Better than none. Tonight, under no circumstances can I there be for tonight. It is my wedding anniversary, and I am taking my beloved spouse out to dinner. Ah, that's nice. I have a first edition of S.W. Erdnase's Expert at the Card Table. If you come to the meeting tonight, I might be willing to lend it to you. I'll tell the spouse something came up. Mm. Bring them along too. Yeah, bring bring I them. You. It'll be quite a night. Damn, he's fluent. Let's go, Aziraphale. Damn, look at that outfit. Greetings. Can't wait to see people cosplay this. Listen to me now. Mr. Fell, I speak fluent English. I've been here for 15 years. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I'm Via. Maintenant, j'ai une réunion de l'association de tous les commerçants de la rue. God damn it. Oh, I feel like I'm right back in Paris. Mr. Fell, if it's about the street traders meeting, I can be there, but only until seven. He is enjoying this. Guarantee no angels then. You speak every language in the world. We both do. Yes. So what's the French? Oh, I learned that. The hard way. I went to Monsieur Rossignol's night classes. Oh, I want to witness that. You don't have an aunt. She doesn't have a gardener. He doesn't have a pen. But you understood me. Only because for 250 years you've been wittering on about the plume of your imaginary tool. 
Are they going to talk about the Christmas lights? Because I have things to say. <laughs> yes. I'll be there. Oh my god. Easy as that. Sorted. Uh, you've been together long? Who? You and your partner. Oh, no, no, no. It's not like, it's not like that. It certainly looks like that from here. Oh, so you've just recently hooked up? No, you... We, you've got a husband or a boyfriend. Is the books telling you a bit on the side? He's not a bit on the side. He's far too pure of hardly anybody. A bit on the side. Aww. An angel. Oh, no. You say so? And then again, other people's love lives all seem so much more straightforward than our own. No, that's just boggled his brain. <laughs> well, she did say don't interrupt. <sighs> Would it be remembered who he is? Would it be faking it? You could smite me. When Gabriel <laughs> smites you, you've been... Smited? Smote? Smitten. I believe. You're being silly. It's a man. You know who any longer. Well, I mean, he is. But given that the last time you two met, you tried to destroy him. Uh, I don't remember that. No? Okay. Hmm. Well, Mr. Fell doesn't remember it either. And I do remember. Oh, very clearly. Look on your face, Archangel Gabriel. When you told my only friend to shut his stupid mouth and die. And I did not care for it. I don't think that was me. I hope I'm not causing you too much trouble now. More bad news for you than Jimmy Boy. Yeah, Jimmy Boy. You're making him risk his entire existence. I really am sorry. Is there anything I can do? Oh, no. No. Jump out that window. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. about to fucking do it no hesitation well, if you're really not him what are you it's not i don't have my memory well, where is your memory then no i don't remember matchbox oh no i took it out first you took your memory out of a matchbox yes that's right i took it out and i put it in the box and i brought it here and it's Yes. Missing. Uh, what else do you remember? Do you want a hot chocolate? Mm. Uh, he's so gonna have to go know, retrieve but... that. I'm in the process of verifying it, but of course you can only tell if people are in love by wasting a few days. What? What did they say? Oh, I didn't listen. They said it was private. <laughs> oh, bless her cotton socks. I love her. Thank you. I want that mug. Like, seriously. You're really nice. Don't thank me. And, and don't call me nice. <laughs> Nobody believe you anyway. If you're going to stand here and just carp, perhaps you could check in on Nina and Maggie and make sure they are on their way. What are you planning, Aziraphale? Oh! Wow! Everything else was taken. What do you want? Just to remind you about the... The meeting. I'm not coming. You have to. No, I don't. My... My partner, Lindsay, has texted and is now my former partner. 
John and Buggered if I'm going to talk about the stupid Christmas lights tonight, so I'm going home. I'm going to drink myself senseless. Never could cry in an empty flat. Don't do that. <sighs> Why not? Might not be safe. Something's going on. My friends won't let anything happen to you. Choose for once in your life. Trust somebody. You're weird. Ah, do it. Oh, jeez. It is Nina to buy her coffee for all our needs. Charmed, I'm sure. Ah, bonsoir. It is out. Oh. A fine night. He did bring, bring his partner. Why now, good mistress coffee seller? Hello, would you like to try one of these tiny little dinners? Oh my god, he looks like a fancy steed bonnet. Oh my god. Sparkly steed bonnet. Ah, Nina. Oh, well, that's not good. Demons, Junior, bottom of the barrel. Demons, practically the dam. <laughs> oh, she got changed. She looks lovely. I'm hosting a business meeting. I'll be with you in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Have a volleyball. This is something new. This, this is, is something cute. Are we? Why is everyone talking like they've escaped from Pride and Prejudice? Yes. Did you ever learn the steps to this dance? It's just what we do, isn't it? No. No, it isn't. Did they perform a miracle to let them to make them know the yeah. dance? They're doing this. Oh, look how happy he is. Aziraphale, get your husband and get up there and dance. Oh, oh. That is horrifying. pieces of food and i'm not selling them i'm giving them away then most certainly we must indulge ourselves in form and feature this it's neat isn't it i'm still working out all the things it can do i discovered a new one in bed last night <laughs> would you like me to show you i must confess you interest us strangely watch 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 something wrong there is something really wrong well perhaps you could tell me while we dance we don't dance <laughs> oh they're gonna dance <gasps> damn Aziraphale really took the first step there didn't he he was like we're fucking dancing don't ruin their moment please give them their moment Let them. Not having a very good day. My partner, Lindsay, has gone. I know, I'm hard work. I... I mean, I'm not afraid of hard work. Hell has sent demons. They are milling around outside. They want Gabriel. But perfectly safe in here. Technically, this bookshop still counts as an embassy. I think you need to stop this charade, and we need to work out what to do. I am not giving them Jim. People will get hurt and Oh my god, no, you ruined it! Well... Oh. Oh dear. Oh, surrender the angle? Yeah, um, spelling, not a strong point. I meant to say... Surrender the angel! I have a legion of demons by my side. <laughs> legion? But I have no intention of harming you. 50 seconds. 
They're gonna hand him over and they're gonna be like, that's not him. Those people want me, don't they? I'm here. I'm who you want. I think. It's me. Yeah, I knew they wouldn't believe him. Send out the angel now, or everyone in the bookshop gets it. I mean it. Hi. Listen. The angel Gabriel is apparently me, but I'm also Jim, which is short for James, but also Gabriel. Shut up. This minute. I mean, if they lift the miracle off him. They said, "Oh, the angel Gabriel, no, they're toast." T O S T E. <laughs> no. Get your humans out. Go of off, bed. cruelly. Right, I just made up a rule about too stupid to Jay. <laughs> I actually believed him. I actually thought that would be a rule. I've got this. I don't know why. I'm going to take you all out of here if you do exactly what I tell you. <clears throat> Sir, what is your plan here? Nothing. Wait. I'm calling the emergency services. Really? What's the boundary line of this place? The door frame. You can't cross it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. We just did. Civilian casualty. Get the rest of them out now, or we take them one at a time. Happy anniversary. Oh. No. Yeah, what a nice anniversary for them, man. What? It stacks up by the front door. Right, I'm gonna formally declare this meeting as a week. Is he clutching his Doctor Who magazine? I think it'd be best if you all headed back to your shops as fast as possible. You're a good lad. Not actually. Either. But thank you. <laughs> Not actually either. Know? I want to know what's happening. You're in danger. None of this makes sense. You're in trouble. And we aren't leaving. Not actually either. A good lad. So he's not good and he's not a lad. Gender fluid Crowley. Crowley will be back in a moment. He will have a plan. Why don't you stand up for yourself? Make your own plans. I am. But rescuing me makes him so happy. Stop, that's wholesome. Oh! Constable! Officer Constable! Officer! I need to report a crime. But how would I... You say, I arrest you, and then you say, blah, 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 blah. Good job, you've arrested me. Uh-huh. You said, blah, 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 blah. It's all right, officer. I'll come quietly. Come where? Heaven. This is a hell of a plan. Doors opening. The fact that they have the doors opening thing as well. Don't end the episode here, I swear to God. You aren't trying to trick me, are you? You're arresting me. Why would I be trying to trick you? No! I like that they've got, like, different themes for the art drews for all the episodes. It makes me happy. Well, let's see if to say I am very much more stressed. That doesn't even make sense. It's 3 a.m. I don't know what I'm saying. I am a lot more stressed than I was before. Like, I know that we knew that Crowley was going to be in heaven because we saw it in the trailer, but I didn't know the con like the, the circumstances. No, I know the circumstances of him getting arrested. I assume he's going to go up and he has a plan that he's going to be like, oh, hey, uh, the demons are doing this. We need angels to go down and fight. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. I have no idea at this point. Um, but they... Uh, it's, it's, I feel like it's about to get chaotic because we have a legion of demons, 
uh, and we're saving the humans and uh, now, now uh, Aziraphale is down there by himself and I'm worried that, he's, that one of them one of the two of them is going to get erased from history and like if one gets erased from history will the other not mem remember them? Like if Aziraphale gets like erased for hiding Gabriel will cruelly be able to remember anything about him if he doesn't exist? That would be so sad. Oh no, I'm scared. If I've called this, I'm going to be so sad. I surely they wouldn't do that, right? It's a romance. <laughs> no, never mind. They, 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 all romances are always sad. Um, I'm nervous. I was really excited about them having this, this fancy, like, dance that was going on. And I really thought that something was going to, you know, go down between, uh, I guess, Nina and Maggie. And, like, we, we got to see Aziraphale and Crowley start to dance, but then nothing happened and they touched hands, but that was it. And, uh, I just, I'm so, I'm so stressed. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to stop rambling again because I would like to get on to the final episode. I was not planning to do all these episodes tonight. Like, I'd done the first episode and I went to eat food and then I sat for like three hours and I was like, I should probably like record more. And then I was like, I'll leave it till tomorrow. Well, no, I didn't leave it till tomorrow. I mean, technically I did because it's 3 a.m. the next day, but I'm going to shut the fuck up. I'm rambling. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. So peace and... May the angels and demons be with you. Maybe not, not so much the demons. I mean, they're both kind of as bad as each other. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>